Question 11, part A. This question can be approached by considering the random variable x, where x is equal to the number of underweight sugar packets in a batch of 20. We are told that n is equal to 20 and p is equal to 0 0.05. So x is binomially distributed with the number of trials 20 and the probability 0 0.05. We need to calculate the expected number of underweight packets in a batch of 20, i.e. the expected value of x. So the expected number of underweight packets in a batch of 20 is 1. Question 11b. The variance of a binomial distribution is given by n times p multiplied by 1 take p. By substituting in the values, we get that Thus, the variance of x is 0 0.95. Question 11c. The keywords in this question are at most 1. At most 1 refers to 1 packet being underweight or 0 packets being underweight. i.e. we need to calculate the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Entering the statistics mode, we need to calculate a cumulative probability. So we will use BCD. Entering our values, we find that the probability that at most one of the sugar packets is underweight is 0 0.735. Question 12a. To determine the population model of city A, we will integrate its rate of change A dash of t. One over t plus one is of the form f dash of x over f of x, and the integral of this is ln f of x. Thus, we can now use the initial condition to solve for the constant c, i.e. Thus, the population model for A is This same method can be used to determine the population model for B. Question 12b. We want to predict the population of city B at the beginning of 2028. Given the measurements of the populations began in 2018, t equals to 10 represents 2028. Thus, we can evaluate the population of city B 
at t equals 10 by Thus, the population at the beginning of 2028 is predicted to be 4,724. Question 12c. We want to predict the year that the population of A and B are the same, i.e. when A of t is equal to B of t. This can be done by finding the intersection of the graphs of A of t and B of t. To make sure we get an approximately good view window, we will set our x min to 0 and our y min to 20. To find a suitable range for our y values, we will use zoom auto. Zoom auto can be found under F2 and then F5. We can now find the intersection of the two point of the two graphs by going G solve intersect. So we see that T is equal to 12.66. We know that in the year 2028, T was equal to 10. So during the year 2030, the populations of city A and city B are predicted to be the same. Question 13. If an online retailer claims that 90% of all orders are shipped within 12 hours, they are saying in the long run, their internal system will result in 90% of orders being sent within 12 hours of being received. But if we were to look at just a single sample of orders, the proportion of orders shipped within 12 hours could be different to 90%. Question 13a. In this case, the sample chosen is from one day and consists of 121 orders. So n is equal to 121. 102 of these orders were shipped within 12 hours of being received. So the sample proportion p hat can be calculated by x divided by n. So the sample proportion is 0 0.843. Question 13b. We are told some information about the distribution of the sample proportion, which is the random variable capital P hat. In this case, capital P hat is normally distributed using the normal approximation of the binomial distribution where mu of p hat is equal to p and sigma of p hat is equal to the square root of p by 1 take p over n. If we assume the online retailer's claim is true, mu of p hat is equal to 0 0.9 and sigma of p hat is equal to We now need to determine the probability that capital P hat is less than 0 0.85. That is, this can be evaluated in the statistics mode. We need to calculate a cumulative probability, so we will use NCD.
entering in our values, Thus, the probability that capital P hat is less than 0 0.85 is 0 0.033. Question 13C. In the one day sample from part A, where the sample size was 121, the sample proportion was P hat equal to 0 0.84. Part B shows the chance of getting a P hat equal to or smaller than it is very low. Thus, the truth of the claim is worth questioning. Question 14a. Firstly, note that capital F of X represents the cumulative distribution function of X. Let the probability density function of X be equal to f of x. Therefore, the CDF of x can be differentiated to determine f of x as follows. Thus, the PDF of x is 10 over x squared. For x between 5 and 10 and 0, otherwise. Question 14b. In these type of questions, I like to draw a quick sketch of the region where the probability lies. This probability can be evaluated using the cumulative distribution function as follows. Thus, the probability that x lies between 5 and 7 is 4 sevenths. Question 14c. The mean time of arrivals can be evaluated using the formula mean is equal to the integral from a to b of x f of x dx. In this case, the lower bound of the integral is 5 and the upper bound is 10. So, this integral can be evaluated in the run mode. Therefore, the mean time between arrivals is 6.93 minutes. Don't forget your units. Question 15a. We can approximate the area of the field using the trapezoidal rule as follows. In the question, we are told that this area was found to be 11.12 metres squared. Thus, if we do a quick sanity check, we would expect that x is between 1.76 and 2.2. We can see that 1.94 is in fact between those two values, so our answer makes sense. Thus, the value of x is 1.94. Question 15b. The area of the field can be determined by evaluating the integral from 0 to 5 of 4x all over x squared plus 1 
plus 1 dx. Using the rung mode, Thus, the area of the field was determined to be 11.516 metres squared.